Hello, hello. Welcome back to American MMO, the only gaming channel on YouTube that will never tease you with content not coming to your Western keyboard. My name is Aaron, 20 year veteran of the MMO community, loving all things games. For this video, we are headed back to the world of Sanctuary to discuss some Diablo 4. Now before we begin, I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to anyone that has supported me in this channel. We have now officially passed 1,000 hours watched, and American MMO has a weekend goal of breaking 300 subscribers. The only way small channels like this can grow, and if you feel I deserve it, is to share this content. Anybody new checking out the page for the first time, I'd also truly appreciate it if you subscribed. Again, huge thank you to everybody that has supported this channel. Time to keep on trucking. Alright, let's get back to the video. Today we will be discussing how it's been officially, unofficially announced that D4 will have microtransactions in Diablo 4. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. Now, multiple news sources have covered this story, but I wanted to stick to the fandom on the Icy Veins forum. Let's read the main source material and we will take it from there. Diablo 4 will feature cosmetic microtransactions. While Blizzard have been somewhat cagey about this topic in various interviews, it did slip out that they are in fact planning on having microtransactions in the game. We have separate information from a few sources, beginning with Quinn69's original interview, which I will show later, with lead designer Joe Shelley. Now, Quinn69, if you guys do not follow him, he's a PoE and D3 streamer, and he's pretty awesome. Now, in the interview, this was the quote, Diablo 4 will be available as a base game. We're going to have expansions. You will also be able to acquire cosmetics in the game. It's very early, but yes. Now, we didn't really need this confirmation to know that there's going to be microtransactions in this game, as the horse customization system shown off at Diablo 4 unveiled panel was pretty definitive sign, and a game like Diablo is pretty solid fit for cosmetics. Shelley also reiterated what we heard in several different interviews and panels as well, where it was very definitively stated that you will not be able to buy power in D4, with the auction house also being confirmed as not returning and the most powerful items in the game being non-tradable, it seems we really have to get the top gear ourselves. He continued to clarify that they don't know what form the cosmetic microtransactions will take, although again, considering the horse armor and customization, we'd say they have some kind of idea. A lot of people are very opposed to microtransactions in any form in a Diablo game, but as always, it comes down to execution. Will the purchasable cosmetics be the best looking gear in the game? Will they overshadow the end game and most of the powerful gear you have to work hard to get? Or will it just be different options and perhaps weird concepts that don't fit the actual gear in the game? We can safely eliminate the Asian MMO route where a fantasy RPG suddenly gets modern day cop outfits and other completely immersion breaking cosmetics at least. Another way that's really worked in the past has been the Destiny model, or I should say the old Destiny model, not the way they did it in Destiny 2, where you can get a majority of the cosmetics just by playing the game enough. With two separate currencies for buying cosmetics, one with real money and one you can earn in game. The point being that everyone rightfully recoils at the mere mention of microtransactions. They can actually be beneficial to a game if done correctly. D3 would have been updated and improved much more if it had a steady revenue stream coming in, perhaps even getting a second expansion. And would it really have been a horrible idea for players to be able to just buy the seasonal wings, portraits, etc. from Conquest? I don't know. Closing out this article, it reads, as for Diablo 4, aside from clearly already planned horse cosmetics, there are plenty of avenues they could go with microtransactions, avoiding the inevitable trouble that would come from selling really cool looking armor set visuals. There are plenty of things they could add that really would impact the game overall, like additional head customizations like scars, tattoos, etc., banner additions if they return, portrait frames, UI customization, and a lot lot more. Now sure, the more cynical among us might think that one of the big reasons Blizzard went the shared world route this time around is to make cosmetics more valuable, as you'll be showing them off to random people as you pass them in the world. But even if that's the case, as long as they don't overdo it, it should be fine. In any case, 
there is a lot of ways to do microtransactions well, and considering how much attention Blizzard are paying to the community's wishes, Diablo 4 may get out of the microtransactions quagmire relatively intact. Yes! A break from reading to talk about some nerd knowledge. Now, today's nerd knowledge, I'm going to do something a little different. We are going to go the scientific route, just because I haven't done it yet. So I've got three pieces of nerd knowledge for everybody. Nerd knowledge number one. There is enough DNA in an average person's body to stretch from the sun to Pluto and back 17 times. I'm going to read that again. There is enough DNA in the average person's body to stretch from the sun to Pluto and back 17 times. All right, nerd knowledge number two. The average human body carries 10 times more bacteria cells than human cells. Yes, you heard that correct. And nerd knowledge number three. In an entire lifetime, the average person walks the equivalent of five times around the world. Five times. I hope you enjoyed today's nerd knowledge. All right, all right. Where were we? Back to the video. Now, I just read through the entire article on the Icy Veins website explaining what's going on with D4 and microtransactions. And I thought it would be cool if you guys took a few seconds to actually see the main source material that started all this conversation from Quincy69 and his interview with Shelby. Enjoy. That, that skill tree and make the skills more and more powerful. This is going to be a big one. Monetization. Uh, is there any just sort of decision made in terms of how so is it going to be like you just buy the game and then that's it or are you going to, is it going to be microtransactions within the game or are you doing like subscription how are you planning to monetize it and like keep getting funding i guess to like keep making content so diablo 4 will be available as a base game and as i said we're going to have expansions um, you also will be able to um, acquire cosmetics in the game um, through so mtx oh wow is that's going to be through some sort of shop or can it's very early. Oh, wow. so, okay. But yes. Oh, okay. That's really interesting. I mean, to be honest, I really do like the the whole MTX uh, monetization scheme because I don't know. I feel like if they make even you know if it's really successful, it's making lots of money, then you know that they're, they're gonna keep making stuff for the game. It's not gonna die. You well, know? it's also an op opportunity to have more options available than you would otherwise. I mean, you build more stuff. You heard it right there from the horse's mouth. There will be microtransactions in D4. So after reading you the full article and hearing that, it is time to give you my opinion. Now, when I think of microtransactions, I actually normally think of mobile games, because almost all mobile games have microtransactions and they're ridiculously expensive. I think of Clash, I think of Lineage, games I've probably spent way too much money on. Now, when you switch over to PC, there's two main games that come to mind around microtransactions. One being PoE, Path of Exile, and the other being Fortnite. Now these are two very popular games and I know they're very different games. But these games cost nothing. You legitimately can go download them right now and play for free. And all the transactions and microtransactions aren't going to give you a leg up in the game. But those microtransactions, since the game is free, keep the game with a constant revenue flow so the game can keep making updates and keep growing its player base. Now Diablo 4 is very different. They are going to charge you $60 for the game. They are then going to charge you probably $30 per expansion and who knows how many expansions they're going to there's going to be. So you're talking about spending over $100 on D4 and then on top of that they're going to want microtransactions. In my personal opinion, I do not like it. I want to be able to show off the legendary ancient gear that I find on my character instead of a brand new person going to buy cosmetics that make them look cooler better than mine. I don't like it. And that's my two cents. And that's the video. What does everybody think? Diablo 4. It has been confirmed. Microtransactions will be in the game. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Let me know in the comment section below, and as always, thanks for watching. Thank you all for supporting American MMO. Please like, 
share, subscribe, and smash that bell. Aaron, out.